Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how lasers, that's right, lasers could help you hear better. Coming up. You know when someone says that something is old school? No, I'm not talking about that movie from the early 2000s that had Will Ferrell in it, which is arguably one of the funniest movies of all time. I'm talking about something that is old fashioned or out of style. Typically in audiology, when we say something is old school, we're talking about the ways that things used to be done back in the day. For instance, at one point in time, the whisper test used to be the way to tell if someone actually had a hearing loss. That's when you would walk behind them, whisper something, and ask them what you said. If I'm being honest, there are probably still some some physicians out there using this whisper test to identify whether or not they should refer their patients into an audiologist for a comprehensive hearing evaluation. Or using a tuning fork to perform what is known as a Rene test or a Weber test to identify if somebody has a conductive hearing loss. When it comes to old school hearing aids, we often think of those big beige banana looking devices that could only be adjusted using a tiny screwdriver. And all you could do was basically make them louder or softer with some manipulation of the high frequencies and low frequencies. And of course, the old school way of identifying if those hearing aids were programmed correctly was simply asking you, how do they sound? No wonder hearing aid satisfaction rates were so low back in the day. Nowadays, the new school way of evaluating someone's hearing is to use high-tech audiology equipment with modern testing techniques to tell us exactly what is going on with your hearing. This includes air conduction testing, bone conduction testing, speech testing, speech and noise testing, tympanometry, reflex testing, and the list goes on. New school modern hearing aid technology is also on a completely different level, being virtually all digital at this point, allowing us to do amazing things like stream audio directly into both of your hearing aids using Bluetooth, being able to separate speech from background noise, and being able to enhance soft level speech better than ever before inside of hearing aids that are smaller than ever before. When it comes to correctly programming your hearing aids, the new school way of doing it is using probe microphone measures so we can perform real ear measurement to ensure that your hearing aids are programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription so we no longer have to ask you how does that sound when we're programming your hearing aids. All of these new school forms of hearing aid testing, hearing aid technology, and hearing aid programming are a large reason why more people are wearing hearing aids now than ever before and why hearing aid satisfaction rates have skyrocketed. As a hearing care professional, I believe that it is our responsibility to always stay on top of the new school way of doing things if we want to keep these trends of hearing aid adoption and hearing aid satisfaction heading in the right direction. And every once in a while, something new comes along that completely changes the game in hearing health care. And one of those new technological advancements that I'm talking about has to do with lasers. But before I tell you exactly how lasers can significantly improve your hearing, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well, because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. That being said, I greatly appreciate it, and huge shout out to Phonak for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. For decades, hearing care professionals have been taking physical impressions of their patients' ear canals using a variety of different impression materials. This allowed them to make custom hearing aids and custom ear molds, which are an easy way to significantly improve the performance of your hearing aids. To make a physical impression, it requires the placement of a piece of foam or cotton deep inside of the ear canal followed by the injection of a silicone putty, powder and liquid mixture, or other material that would stay inside your ear canal for three to five minutes. Once that material hardens, it is removed from your ear, creating a physical impression of your ear canal and other physical structures of your ear. These physical impressions are then put in a box and shipped to a hearing aid manufacturer so they can make custom in-the-ear hearing aids or make custom ear molds for receiver and canal or behind the ear hearing aids. If your hearing care professional happened to take a good quality impression, then the hearing aid manufacturer would be able to make a hearing aid or custom ear mold that fit your ears really well. However, there are a lot of potential issues that could arise by taking physical impressions of your ears. All right, now I'm gonna share a story with you that I don't want you to tell anybody else because this is gonna make me look like a horrible audiologist. But when I was a brand new audiologist, I'm talking right out of school, I did a physical ear impression on a person. And when I did that impression and waited for that material to harden inside of their ears, I was not able to successfully remove that physical impression material. And I pulled so hard that 
that actually broke off the outer piece from the piece that was still inside of their ear canal. This patient actually had to go in for surgery to get the rest of that material removed. Now I know that this is an extremely rare circumstance, but there are several other drawbacks to taking physical impressions, including the amount of time that it takes to do a physical impression, the discomfort that can happen when you're doing a physical impression, the amount of time that it takes to send those impressions to the hearing aid manufacturer, and the necessity to repeat physical impressions more often if you're trying to order products from different companies. However, a new school technique of performing digital ear impressions using, you got it, lasers, is quickly making physical ear impressions an old school technique. And is exactly why Phonak, today's video sponsor, is now accepting Natus Otoscan 3D digital ear scans when developing their Verto hearing aids, their custom ear molds, and their Serenity Choice Plus earplugs. Now I've been performing 3D digital scans since 2019 using the Natus Otoscan. Essentially, instead of injecting putty into your ears, we can now use lasers to scan your impressions and create an entire 3D model of your ears. Not only is the process of digitally scanning your ears quicker and safer, but it also ensures an accurate impression of your ears before they are instantaneously uploaded to Phonak for them to start manufacturing your devices. Now you may know this about me already, but the vast majority of patients that I fit with Phonak hearing aids actually have a custom component to their devices. Whether this is a custom seashell ear mold with acoustically optimized vents that they can use on their Phonak, Audeo receiver and canal hearing aids, or titanium ear molds that they can use with their Activent receivers, or even a custom Verto hearing aid that fits entirely inside of their ear canal. For the past two years, my clinic has been sending these 3D digital scans into Phonak as a part of their beta program, and I have to say, this is the greatest thing ever. Because the custom products that we get back from Phonak are as good or even better than we used to get when we did physical impressions. So if you're looking for an easy way to significantly improve the performance of your Phonak hearing aids, whether this is by using a custom ear mold or a custom hearing aid in and of itself, make sure that you ask your hearing care professional if they can do a 3D digital scan of your ears using the Natus Otoscan. The simple fact of the matter is, is that 3D digital scanning of your ears is now the new school way of doing ear impressions, and the old school way of doing ear impressions is by using that physical impression material. Fortunately, more and more hearing care professionals are starting to adopt adopt this new technology to perform 3D digital scans of your ears when ordering custom ear molds, custom hearing aids, and custom hearing protection. 10 years from now, I bet that we all look back at this time of performing physical ear impressions using injectable putty, the same way that we look at the old school way of doing the whisper test and these old school big beige banana hearing aids. And I for one cannot wait to be able to tell a new audiologist that back in my day, I had to take an impression of my patient's ears using an injectable putty rather than just taking a digital impression.